Do you want to keep a shrimp with your betta fish in a little community setup? Are you worried that your betta is going to eat your shrimp? Well, let's discuss this in today's video. Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. To start, let's take a look at this from the perspective of betta fish. What do they eat in captivity? Oftentimes, we would feed them different crustaceans such as Artema and Daphnia, for example. At least betta breeders would. And what are shrimp? Shrimp are also crustaceans, so they fall into the category of a type of food that a betta would eat. Sometimes shrimp are even added to pellet or flake food as well. That being said, the more common Neocaridina and Caridina shrimp that we keep in our aquariums are usually not a common food for bettas. In the end, it depends on the personality of the individual betta that you have. Some bettas are more aggressive and territorial and will attack and eat more shrimp, while others will be inquisitive and will only look at them, be interested in observing them, but will not bother them at all. So here are some things to consider when you plan on setting up a betta and shrimp tank or plan on adding a betta to your existing shrimp tank. The first question you want to ask yourself is, are you okay with setting up two separate tanks, one for the shrimp, one for the betta, just in case it doesn't work out? Another option would be to rehome either the shrimp or the betta, but regardless of what you do, you have to put the animal's needs first. I recommend that you add the shrimp into the tank first and give them time to acclimate to their new home. Since bettas are very territorial, they will usually want to fight anything that enters their territory once they've established it as their own home, but they tend to be more forgiving to critters that were already in the tank that they are then being added to. This is the method that I use in all of my betta community tanks and it seems to work pretty well. The next step is to choose the perfect betta for your shrimp tank. When you are choosing your betta from the pet store, try to select the most docile looking fish, so the fish that is less likely to aggressively flare at others. But also do consider if a fish is tired or not, because a very aggressive betta that is also tired will not flare as much. While this won't tell you 100% how the betta will act in a community tank setup, this will give you a general idea of what type of personality it will have. Now you can directly add your betta in to the tank or you can take an extra safety step and use a floating breeder box to test if your fish is okay with the shrimp. I like to put my bettas in there and let them at least spend a week observing their inhabitants. Not only does this let them get used to everybody, but it gives you a good indicator of their personality as well. If your betta is crazy flaring at all the shrimp for the entire week and won't stop and is trying to bite them all the time and chase them, that could be an indicator that they are too aggressive and not compatible with your shrimp. When you release the betta into the tank, be sure to watch and spend a lot of time observing what's going on. Some chasing and flaring is okay, and maybe a nip or two as your betta figures things out is also okay, but you don't want to see a lot of chasing or a lot of aggressive behavior. And if you do see it, very quickly put your betta either into the breeder box again, or you can put it into its own separate tank. As you observe your shrimp, one thing to pay attention to is are they coming out to eat their food? If they don't want to come out to eat at all, that means that they are scared and they're being chased and bullied and potentially eaten by the betta. If they are comfortable enough, they should be able to even share their food with their bettas. Even though it's not really betta food, bettas are little piggies and they'll try to eat everything. Whether you keep bettas and shrimp together or separately, I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to share it with all your fishy and shrimpy friends so we can together make a better hobby together. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.